Hi guys, MyCrew here. This is my 1 to 99 fire making guide, and in this guide, I show ways to get up to 700k experience an hour at the higher levels. And obviously, I speak about the useful items and things like that. If you need to skip to a certain part in the description, there will be timestamps so you can skip straight to the part you need. So let's get into it. First up, my favourite useful item is the portable brazier. Braziers work like bonfires with two extra effects. These extra effects from braziers are 10% additional experience and 10% chance to save any log you throw on it. These also give the 5% bonfire boost so these will give 15% more experience. There normally is one hosted in World 100 Shanty Pass. If there isn't one in World 100 Shanty Pass, you can always use the French Chat Portables. The French Chat Portables is used to locate all of the portables around Gilanor, so it will work perfectly. Next up on the useful items, there is something called Lighting the Beacons, and you need the All Fired Up quest to do this. You can receive three useful items from Lighting the Beacons. The first useful item is the Flame Gloves. These require 79 fire making and give 2% experience boost. Next up is the Ring of Fire, which is 62 fire making that also gives 2% experience boost. Although if you wear both of these items together, they give a 5% experience boost instead of 4%. Definitely really helpful when training fire making. And then at 92 fire making, you have an Infernal Adds. The equivalent hatchet to this would be a tier 61, so it is as good as Dragon. It has a 1 in 3 chance to instantly burn the logs as they are chopped. You would get the normal woodcutting experience, but you also get the additional fire making experience you would get for burning them. Another fairly useful item, but with an augmented crystal hatchet being so good, I normally would opt to just keep doing the crystal hatchet rather than using an inferno adds. Next up is the Book of Char. This requires 74 fire making. This book is rewarded after completing the Fire Maker's Curse quest. You also get 80,000 fire making XP reward from the fire makers curse as well so it's pretty decent. When wielded in your offhand and activated it burns all logs stepped on for 2 times the fire making experience they normally would give. You can drop logs while running or set them up on the ground beforehand and then just run over them. The activation lasts 2-3 to three minutes and can be used once per day. So a lot of people would make giant lines of logs and then just run back and forth over them until the 2-3 to three minutes is over and it can give some very good fire making experience every single day. Another useful thing you can get unlocked is the cremation ability. It's a drop from any ghosts. You get 2.5 times the prayer experience of any bone cremated and you also get 2 times the fire making XP of any bone as well. This is faster burns than bonfires as well. It's nearly twice as fast. If you throw a log onto a portable or a bonfire, it's six ticks per log. If you throw a bone onto a fire, it's only four ticks, so it's nearly twice as fast. This is very, very expensive, but it can be a good way to train both prayer and fire making at the same time. You can also go to Barbarian Assault for bonus experience. Doing waves 1 to 10 in hard mode with a group can award you over a million bonus experience in fire making. Depending on your group and how experienced you all are, this can take between 30 minutes and 1 hour to do 1 to 10 on hard mode. This would then add up to being 1 to 2 million bonus experience in fire making in just an hour. You can join the French chat BA teams in order to try and find a team for Barbarian Assault in order to get your bonus experience. The last useful thing I want to talk about before we get started is invention with fire making. You can use an augmented crystal tinderbox or a pyromatic. You can actually train invention at a good speed with fire making while speeding up fire making experience in addition to actually giving you the invention experience. Doing invention with fire making speeds up fire making XP because of the perks. The perks I would recommend are Pyromaniac, Rapid and Tinker. An offhand with wise perk helps as well because you get additional experience with that perk. I'll leave a link to my detailed video on this in the description so if you fancy learning more about the Crystal Tinderbox, the Pyromatic or any of the perks then go ahead and click that link in the description. Now some quick info on the rates within this guide. You typically burn around 950 logs an hour on a bonfire or a portable brazier. Having invention perks that boost your burn rate like Rapid and Pyromaniac can take this up to 1050 logs an hour. When I speak about the rates for each log in this video, the low end rates will be only with the portable brazier and the bonfire boost which is the 15%. The high end experience rates will be with all the boosts and invention. 
So the low end will be what you're using with no extras and then the high end will be with everything. From levels 1 to 15 you should do normal logs on a portable brazier. You need 43 logs for level 15 this way. This should take around 3 minutes and it will be a loss of 17,000 GP for the logs. Normal logs are actually 54,000 experience an hour which is pretty damn high at level 1. From levels 15 to 30 you can now do oak logs on a portable brazier. You will need 114 oak logs for level 30. This should take around 7 to 8 minutes and is a loss of around 14,000 GP as they're actually cheaper than normal logs. Oak logs are also 92,000 experience an hour. Levels 30 to 45 you want to do willow logs on a portable brazier. You will need 403 willow logs for 45. This should take around 25 minutes and will be a loss of 12,000 GP. Willow logs are 110 to 120k experience an hour. At level 45 you can do maple logs on a portable brazier. You can do this to level 60 or to level 99. You would need 1380 logs for level 60 and it would take around 90 minutes and cost around 60k. If you wanted to do maple logs all the way to 99 you would need 84,295 logs and it would take 88 to 90 hours and cost you 3.6 million GP. Maple logs are only 145 to 175k experience an hour so I'd only recommend doing them to level 60. I wouldn't do them all the way to 99 because I really don't feel like it's worth it compared to things like use. From level 60 you can start doing new logs on a portable brazier. You can do this to 75 or to 99. You would need 3735 logs for level 75 and this would take you around 4 hours and cost 700k to 750,000 GP. If you want to do it all the way to 99, you're going to need 50,880 logs and it will take around 50 to 55 hours and cost 9.5 to 10 mil GP. These are 235 to 285,000 experience an hour. These are around twice as fast as maple logs, but they will cost you around three times as much to get to 99. But I would definitely think about doing use over maples because the time you save, you can easily make that money back. From levels 75 to 90 or all the way to 99, you can do magic logs on a portable brazier. You can do corrupt magic logs as well, they can be slightly cheaper and give the same amount of experience but sometimes they can be more expensive than normal magic logs so it would be worth checking out the two margins. You need 11,723 logs for level 90. This would take around 12 to 13 hours and cost you 5.8 to 6.2 million GB. If you wanted to do these all the way to 99 you would need 33,512 logs. This would take you 32 to 36 hours and cost 17 to 18 million GP. Comparing these to use, you would save around 15 hours from levels 75 to 99. So in those 15 hours, you're going to spend around 10 million more GP on magics than use. So if you're capable of making your 10 mil back in those 15 hours saved, which I'm pretty sure you will be, magic logs would be the better option because you're going to save a lot of time in the long run. Magic logs are 335 to 405,000 experience an hour. Elder logs on the other hand are not worth doing in my opinion but you can do them at 90 to 99. You would need 15,020 logs for level 99 and it would take around 13 to 16 hours but cost 80 to 85 million GP. Elder logs are 485 to 590k experience an hour but they cost so so much money. You're going to be spending over 65 million more GP just to get from 90 to 99. Elder logs are 10 GP and XP, magic logs are 1.3 GP and XP and new logs are 0.7 GP and XP. So elder logs being so much more expensive than magic logs or U logs just makes them not worth it at all. Okay they're super fast but if you wanted super fast experience I'd definitely do the method I'm about to speak about now. This super fast method is curly roots with superheat form in the Chidinko lair. You can do this from levels 83 to 99 and it's a free way of getting more experience than you would with elder logs. The superheat form prayer has a quest requirement of the light within and it requires 91 prayer so it is a high level method. You need 10.36 million experience for 99 this means that it should take around 15 to 17 hours to do it from 83. This is definitely the fastest way to train fire making in the game. These curly roots are between 600 to 700k experience an hour depending on what boost you're using. I'll leave a link in the description for my detailed guide on this that I made recently. 
This is definitely a really effective way of training your fire making and I would do this over elder logs for sure because it's faster experience and it's free. If you wanted AFK fast experience, I'd just stick to magic logs. Thank you for watching this guide. Hope it was helpful to you. If it was helpful, make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you're new for future content all related to RuneScape 3. Goblin Slayers with a Z is my clan. It's open to everyone and anyone. Feel free to join my friends chat micro in game if you wanted to chat as well. The Discord link is in the description as well if you fancy chatting on voice communications or if you just wanted to type in there. My Twitter link will be in the description as well if you fancy following me on Twitter and until next time, see ya.